Good morning class 6. Welcome back for the English class. Today we will be starting the story how the dog found himself a new master. It's the second chapter in your book Honeysuckle. Before we start the story, I just want to tell you that uh, like we say, feel safe when we are at home. When we go out with our parents, we like uh, to buy things and they are there for purchasing them. We feel uh, like, you know, we are not worried even if we get late while coming home because we know that our parents are there to take care of ourselves and nobody can bother us. Now, you will be wondering why ma'am is talking about all these things. It's just that we at times need some support which is there and it depends from like, you know, from, from, now support can be from your friends, from your parents. So here we are going to talk about the dog. Let's see the story now. You may know that the dog and the wolf are closely related. You may also know something about how over the centuries human beings have domesticated and turned, sorry, tamed wild animals. Here is a story about how the dog became a tame animal. Okay, you, if you remember, I have told you all that dog, the wild dog, in fact, who looked like the wolf, was the first animal which was tamed by human beings when they started living a settled life. Remember that? Yes, that's right. Okay. So, now when the dogs were living in the jungles, they were living a free life and they were not worried about anything. They led a life like wolves. They moved from one place to another, hunted animals and life was very secure. Okay. Dogs were once their own masters and lived the way wolves do in freedom until a dog was born who was ill pleased with this way of life he was sick and tired of wandering from wandering about by himself okay so the life was easy going for them they led the life like uh, like the wolves they were free but then once do a dog was born who was not very happy with this idea of moving from one place to another, hunting animals. So, he was looking for food and being frightened of those who were stronger than he. He thought it over and decided that the best thing for him to do was to become the servant of one who was stronger than anyone on earth. And he set out to find such a master. So he just jogged his brain over and over again and then finally he decided that he is going to look for somebody who can be his master and for there was a condition. He wanted that person or that animal to be his master who was the strongest person or the animal on the earth. So he um, moved out to find such a master. He walked and he walked and he met a kinsman of his, a big wolf, who was as strong as he was fierce. So he, like, you know, kept on moving from, uh, and then he met one of his kinsmen. Kinsman means a, uh, who is very much, like, you know, n uh, related to. So, and uh, he looked at that wolf, he was fierce and he was strong. So he, the, the wolf asked, where are you going, dog? The wolf asked, I am looking for someone to take up service with. Would you like to be my master, wolf? So the wolf asked the dog that where was he going? And the dog replied that he was looking for someone with whom he can work or for whom he can work. And then he asked the wolf that if he was interested in making him his master. So the wolf said, I don't see, why not? The wolf said, and this agreed upon. The two of them went on together. So the wolf said that I have no problems. I agree to it, you can be my servant. And then they both together, went together. They walked and they walked. And all of a sudden, the wolf lifted his nose, sniffed, darted quickly off the path, into the bushes and crept deeper into the forest. 
the dog was much surprised so they were walking and walking and all of a sudden he saw that wolf lifted his nose and he tried to sniff sniff means he tried to smell something the way we do something like this and then he quickly ran to the path which was into the bushes and then he moved into the forest very quickly the dog was surprised because till that time he was feeling that the wolf was the one who was the strongest animal then what's come over you master he asked what has frightened you so so the dog asked him that what has come over you why are you behaving like this why are you so frightened so the wolf said can't you see there is a bear out there and he might eat us both of both of us you and me so the wolf said wolf was little irritated and he said that can't you see he said to the dog that there is a bear and he can eat both of us he said that the bear can eat the wolf as well as the dog okay seeing the bear was stronger than the wolf the dog decided to take up the service with him and he left the wolf and asked the bear to be his master the bear agreed to this readily so when he saw that the wolf was scared of the bear so he thought that that means the bear is stronger than the wolf so he went to the bear and asked him that if he would agree to accept him as his servant and the bear accepted him and he said let us go and find a herd of cows i will kill a cow and then we can both eat our fill so the bear said okay now let's go and look for group of cow like where so many 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 cows could be there and he said that he's going to kill one of them and they both can eat the cow and fill their stomach they walked on and soon saw a herd of cows but just as they were about to come up to it they were stopped by a terrible noise the cows were mooing loudly and running in a panic in all directions so they walked and then they, uh, they saw that a herd of cows was there they went up to it and when they were about to like when the bear was about to attack the cow then there was such so like you know too much of panic the cows were mooing you must have seen in the it in the like on the discovery channel and all that uh, the when the tiger or lion comes the cows they start mooing they start they become like you know finicky they start running there is a panic they run from here to there so there was panic uh, in all direction the bear looked out from behind a tree and then he too ran hastily deeper into the forest so when uh, the, this panic was there the bear look uh, came, looked out from the place where he was behind a tree and he then what he saw he after that he ran quickly into the forest <coughs> now why did i have to come here said to the dog is it is the lion who rules the forest into these parts so the bear said now he was angry on himself and he said that why did i come here i was aware that this part is being ruled by the lion the lion who is he don't you know he is the strongest beast on the earth so the uh, dog asked him lion who is he he was inquisitive he was not knowing who is the lion so he asked the bear who was the lion and the bear answered that you don't know he is the strongest beast on the earth the strongest animal on this earth and off the dog went to ask the lion to be his master then quickly dog went to the lion and he asked the lion that if he agrees can he be his master the lion agreed to it and the dog stayed with him and served him for a long long time it was a good life and he had nothing to complain of for there was no stronger beast in the forest than the lion and no one dared touch the dog or offend him in any way so the lion agreed to now the dog that he can be his servant and the dog stayed with the lion and he served him and he was very, uh, the life which he was leading he was enjoying it it was very good life he has nothing to complain because he was with the strongest beast and nobody dared to anger the dog because they were aware that the dog was with the lion 
so they will they didn't want to face the repercussion of angering or taking chances with the you know, lion or the dog but one day the two of them were walking side by side along a path that ran amid bare cliffs when all of a sudden the lion stopped he gave a great roar and struck the ground angrily with his paw with such force that a hole formed there then he began to back away very quietly so one day what happened that both these animals the dog and the lion were walking side by side on the path near a cliff then all of a sudden what happened that the dog and that the lion stopped and he roared very loudly and that roar and he was very angry at that time what he did was with a force he like you know pushed his uh, like paw on the ground and there was a hole then he began to back away he was he quickly began, like started moving backwards what is it master is anything wrong as the dog surprised i smell a man coming this way the lion said we did better run for it or we will be in trouble so he the you no know, the dog got inquisitive again and he asked the lion that what is it why are he, why is he behaving in this surprised way the lion said that he could smell a man who was coming in the in their direction and it's better that they should run away to save their lives oh well then i will say goodbye to you lion i want a master who is stronger than anyone on earth so with this when the dog heard this he said that okay fine so now the time has come for me to bid goodbye to you as well and he said that now i know who is my master and i yeah, he said that we yeah, are he wanted to be now he wanted to be a servant to the a person or the animal who was the strongest so he realized that means the man is the strongest animal on earth so he went to the man and of the dog went to join the man and he stayed with him and served him faithfully this happened long long time ago but to this day the dog is man's most loyal servant and knows no other master so from that day the dog continued to be serving to uh, serving the human beings it's a very lovely story i hope you all enjoyed the story please do write the question answers which i which i, I will be giving after this and uh, do it in your copies you have to make two copies if you have otherwise you can do it in your rough copies one will be your uh, like um, literature notebook and one will be your grammar notebook i hope you all are safe at home be careful take care of yourselves be safe at home